Hello and welcome back to FTB's guys episode 15. In this episode here, I really want to get going with the mechanical crafters so that I can uh, build up some of the more advanced uh, structures that uh, create allows. Uh, the primary one that I want to get into is actually the mechanical arm, which technically doesn't need it by itself, but it does need the precision mechanism. Um, but something that would make it way, way, way easier would be one of these uh, wireless uh, transmitters, which requires the big 5x5 uh, five five, uh, build out of a, a mechanical crafter. So let's uh, start by actually placing them down and see how it goes from there. Um, I think I'm going to have them one off the ground and uh, see how that goes. I would like the input to actually be on the bottom side of this. Yeah. Oh, interesting. So if I click a side, it actually path towards that side. Okay, cool. So all of those placed down. Is it enough with one star uncle here? Guessing not, but who knows? Two RPMs. Yeah, this creates 16. So if this is two per so one, should not be enough. Two maybe. I'll figure out some way to power it. it shouldn't be super difficult. So this is 16 uh, RPM a piece. What happens if I have five, four of them? Four of them, that's 16 in the east take. I can't remember. What does it say up here? Mechanical crafter. Doesn't say anything actually. One of it, just connect one up here, just to see. Is this construction order? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, stress unit. So 32 per stress unit. So one of these here can take four. And I have three of them, so I can take. I need way more of these here. Than before. Could potentially do it if I say, snack all the other ones I had. we go so i could temporarily do this in order just to craft something anyway uh first off uh, i need all of these here to craft downwards like that and i need these that one to craft that way i need that one to craft that way this one here should be crafting down something like that all slows downwards it all slows down to this point down here but now i have a depot right yeah, yeah. i can just craft a, a depot down and then everything should craft into the depot perfect i wonder if i can make any of the other uh, recipes in this one here or if those i think they might be a problematic to do have anything I want to test out? Interesting. So, first one I actually want to do is not the ISM transmitter, it's the energy transmitter. Surround view. Oh, I can't even do that. I need to set something else up first. Okay, um, so I build out the fluid tanks here a bit. Um, this is roughly the size of it that I want to. And that would maybe one or two more higher. Um, then I have the uh, I, I haven't had, had deliberately not filled anything in here because once I got them get them back got get get a mechanical arm, uh, I'll um, configure it and uh, put it to this is this being the input and then all of this being the output. Um, but in order to do that, I need to click everything thing of them. Um, over here, you might notice if you just are gone, I moved all of it up here, um, put them down here uh, with the ME importer uh, bus, 
um, as a small thing in order to actually speed up that process. So as you can see here, I have 21,000 items inside my uh, AE system now. <clears throat> and they're all available for me for using and doing whatever I want with. Um, but one thing um, here that uh, is interesting is that I, I, I kind of found it a bit slow. So I went in and crafted uh, a couple of the uh, advanced boards, and then took those advanced boards and upgraded them with a Fluix crystal to an acceleration card. The, and plopped them in here. That significantly increased the speed of importing things into the system. Um, I was able to basically empty out a chest in a couple of seconds every time. So yeah, maybe a bit more, depending on what was in it. Either way, I was in the process down here of lining up a lot of things that I'm uh, building out. I do also have a few other things here in my inventory to help out with it. But yeah, I need a lot of deployers. I know that I'm going to need them. Uh, first of all, uh, they have the ability to place any blocks uh, deployment-wise. But they do also uh, play an important role in like the precision mechanism and a few other. I don't know how many other sequence-based... Uh, recipes there actually is so i can get some obsidian dust as ah, it's obsidian dust i, I love the, the mechanics of this here where it's like a construction line sturdy sheet i don't know what that is and then we have a rail track so don't slap with two of them and then press it oh nice <laughs> there is some interesting uh can i actually use this one. use it for a train case Okay, I'm, I haven't played with those trains yet, so that's going to be a new thing uh, once I get to it. I did also realize that in order to actually uh, power the boiler up there, uh, steam engine or whatever we want to call it, steam engine? Yeah, steam engine probably, um, we need a few... Uh, fuel sources so to speak so we need something that can actually go in and fuel up the uh, uh, the blaze burners <laughs> uh, and for that i decided to go with a small tree farm that automatically converts its uh, or at least a part of the uh, output from it into uh, charcoal and then use that for uh, for it so but for that i need 15 uh, five deployers, five mechanical uh, saws. I'll let the saws run around in a circle up there. That, at least that's my intention. Um, and then have them chop down all the trees, all the woods, all the stuff that they need to chop down. We well, yeah, actually also need something to output from it, right? So there, there is these nice uh, old like these uh, portable storage units. So they require shoot. A shoot is basically bit of iron i'm coming to the point where i should really move my craft works up to the other place right like that pull this out say uh, thank you for very much for this time around here crafting grit destroying sorry okay. it's just a slow thing to break apparently Did my the gadget go? There we go. Nobody can ever see that we had a thing here. Yeah. So I do have a bit more stuff that I need to uh, move around, um, especially like some of the already set up mechanism mechanisms or structures, uh, and especially like <laughs> this uh, line of. Uh, of ramshack uh, build up but yeah small steps small steps dump off some of the stuff that I don't need right now here um, did I have some pipe up here I do so I yeah just just for the case uh, here uh, just for the security of it I'm gonna do a fully upgraded the fluid pipe that pulls from a, a sink just to make sure that my 
boiler uh, gets all the water that it needs. I'm slightly concerned otherwise. <clears throat> okay, so I have one, one, one. I technically only need one of them, so that say that that's it for now. Um, maybe I should. I think I probably should. So I want to craft a few of the the precision mechanisms manually. I think uh, just to get um, just to get a few of them in order to first of all I can create craft one to complete the quest that I was in progress with. But secondly. If I craft one of them, uh, at least, then I can start building up the mechanical arm that I need. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good uh, next step here. Oh, I turned off my engine by the way. I need to uh, make this over here a bit more uh, safe. I really want a... <laughs> I really, really want a sword that doesn't have beheading on at some point. Heading is slightly annoying. Okay, let's say I take all my stab uncle wheels and start placing them. Let's actually start from the other end here. So first of all, I need a depot. I'm gonna yank you for now. So if I place a depot here, I take one of the deployers and place it like no, not like that. Where did we go there? Can I place like that? Yep. Then I um, probably want to do this. Um, no, I think it's fine with just a default round. Should be fine. Now let's take a look. How do I do this? I do a gold plate. Gold plate. Oh, do I actually have more gold plates? I don't. So I do need to have the star bungles over there. I do need to have another depot, so let me craft another depot. Luckily, it's an easy, quick craft, so that's nice. But yeah, the depot over here uh, will allow me to get a few of the gold item gold going. And then I can literally. Like that, that, that. What, what is the order of them? So, knock it at the end. So one, one, one. It was iron nuggets, right? Yeah. I'm looking so much forward to actually just automating that process because even though I haven't started doing it yet, I know that it's a tedious thing to do because first one, then another, and so on. Um, like that. So I wonder if I need to. Okay, what is the sequence? The sequence is small, big, iron nugget. So small, big, iron nugget. And I, oh, you take all of them when you do that. was one. Well, let's continue in the next one. This is a bit uh, slight, slightly annoying to do. Let's put it that way. I am... Um, I really love the idea of automating it, and I really do want to get to that point, but for the very first two, I don't see a big need for it. At least, just unblock me so that I can get to the point of actually... Okay, what is the next thing I lack on it? Oh, is this the one I just need? Did I already complete one? Powered. Can I complete it then? Can. Excellent. 
Oh, I get a ox netherite oxygen can. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. Probably good enough. Did I have any more iron plates? Right? Oh, yeah. Gold plates? I'm sorry, didn't it say that it took five of... Oh, right, I had 16. Right, right, right. Yes, 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 yes. Indeed, that's bad at camp, uh, counting. Guessing I need to get to six before this uh, actually counts as a successful construct. Am I again miscounting? Now I can craft the one I was looking for, the, um, the mechanical arm, right? Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So how do you work? So is that... So I want you to take items from here and deposit to all of these. That's basically just what I want you to do at some point. In order to do that, you of course need to have some sort of a power. I think I can. I think I can power it from below, right? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, so I do need to have something that comes up on the side and powers it. Ah, that's not the end of the world. Um. This here then. So my initial thought here was to have something that comes pops up here, something connected to that. That that could look okay. Oh yeah, now I can also do that. <laughs> the idea that I had was to place these things all the way around. Do I just want them on two sides? Could of course just have them on two sides, like in two rows here. I don't know. I'll take a look. Take take a look. And figure out. I can definitely make this higher according to what I see. So maybe throw one more in it. So if, if I'm reading this, uh, uh, come on. So if I'm reading the um, the interface at the top right, I can make it two more uh, two taller than what I'm currently at, uh, without any issue. Um, I have zero power, however it um but, but before i get going with all of that my idea for for getting um water into it was just something like that and where did my morphing tool go there something like this and then i would have water for days in it without any issue but yeah, something in those lines. I do need to play some shafts, right? Let's see. Is it already is it already generating power? No, not that way. Oh, no. So one side apparently decided to go one way, the other one the other way. Okay. not expected this just to start running without me powering any of these shouldn't 
it like if I drop some coal here. I don't actually know. Okay, that's a um, gearbox. Gearbox here. Like that. Because then I can have a gearbox that goes down. I can have another uh, wheel here. That should power this one. That means that I can... Uh, actually, let me hook these up first. Now, now I see there's a pattern to some of it. I love the looks of like this. This is like old style, big engine kind of thing. It looks amazing. Right. Yeah, that one there. Uh, no, it it actually works there, but I just need to go the other way around. Eyes, you get blind the first, right? So we'll go the other way around here. Let's see. Now that's the wrong way. So what I wanted to do was that way. Yeah, perfect. And then if I do two out in each side here, and then have it, it should still function. Something like that, and if I deposit a ton of hole here I do hope that I don't blow everything up now it, it goes really really slow but I will have it uh, running faster so let's see oh that nice now it's slowly boosting up all of them reaches them I get a ton more of the rest units really, really nice and the heat is slowly rising A nice speed actually. How, how fast is this running? I can't see right here. But I have 12,000 12, <laughs> stress units now. So that basically means that I can start automating everything. This is this this is a wonderful thing. I do really love that uh, that the feel that you get from uh, building up. Pretty well. I'm, I'm happy about what I built here. Yeah. I'm not happy about the building that it's in right now, but that's something that's going to be updated. Oh, this, this looks perfect. Yep. Gold. I'm going to wait on actually doing anything with this until I get to the point of automating the uh, the builders of deployers or the deployment uh, items here. Because so basically creating a... Oh, why do you put that way? Oh, not that way. I guess you just look up for that. Uh, Something like that here, I can literally just input... Uh, Small cog in the first one, the last cog in the second one, and then it was iron. Something like that, right? That way here, I can literally, instead of having this here, I need some more. Um, what are they called? <laughs> I completely axle thingy. What are they called? Concrete, the uh, shafts, right? Make a stack more of them. So, in order to actually craft this out here, I can actually that. Do like this, and then whenever something transports across here, uh, whenever I transport a golden plate across here, they will automatically go all the way through. Then, and jump into something here. I can then have to do that. So I'm thinking a bit about how do I actually uh, process something around in a circle here because um, 
they need to go through that process five times in order to be complete. Um, maybe, maybe another uh, mechanical arm like this one that filter that, that has two outputs one that says this is complete and this and another one that says hey take another round maybe but then i need a priority input here that automatically prioritizes if something comes in from that side to send it through that way can i even do that without breaking things sure uh, there's a lot of stuff here to figure out and uh, get working but i do like it so far um it is a really 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 cool but it also sounds like something that just really, really works did i have any more so once i get here i guess no actually i'm gonna be a bit uh about that. I have an idea. Maybe I could do. Can I do that? <laughs> um, gearbox, gearbox. I want some more gearboxes. I need quite a few of these. I need some more shafts. And I need to craft more of these. Um, how do I do this? I need to take one out at least. Stack. Perfect. So I have a stack of them now. We should probably also make the automation for both brass and, and the side casing at some point. Uh, but yeah, small steps, small steps. But for now, let me just create eight, gear, eight gearboxes. That should be a good starting number. So, the machine is up and running here. I was thinking of placing down two gearboxes, something like that. Oh, that's not gonna work. Damn it. So, my intention was <laughs> to take one of these vertical ones here and type it downwards to the ground. But yeah, that's never gonna work. I need to connect them first. To go out here for then that's probably a smart way of doing this that I'm just not seeing right now. Good. No. You have to encase the chain behind. Could be a potential to use that. For now, I need to connect this up here. I need something that continues that power this way. Hits into that one. And take just because I'm slightly lazy right now. Now we have this thing here constructing stuff for us. Um, secondarily, secondary, we can this one crap down here. So we also need to bring that chain up there. I think we can do this instead. We have a shaft here. Shaft here. I don't technically need a shaft here. But I might need a I have one more. Let me make a few. And yes, I know I'm creating a big mess right now. But here is not to have something that's pretty right now. It's about having something that just connects everything up so that I can get a few machines running and craft something that becomes less of a mess.
That actually goes the wrong way compared to what I want. Gearbox? Yep. Cool. Uh, next up, we need some of the red. What are they called? Funnels, right? Isn't that the name of them? Where did they go? No, I want the other side. Be fine. I could also go for the other one. I do have the brass and kits for it. I do probably need these in the future. So might as well go for them now. Let's see, we have a few chests here, right? Yeah, perfect. So, place a chest at the beginning, a chest at the end. Say that I need a few more uh, cut wheels in there. More of the large one as well. Well, I almost that I can build out as I come get closer to it. So if I start by saying this one outputs, this one outputs. Those should automatically work. If I drop some gold plate in here, it should automatically run through the process. And then it should Oh, right. I need to craft quite a bit now. So, shafts first. I need one, two, three. Yeah, something like that. Shafts, we need at least a stack. Uh, Talk we also need a stack of the larger ones as well. Um, can we craft it with something else? No, uh, that's fine. We need some nuggets. That should help us uh, get all of them going. So, you there, you need a few of the nuggets. inefficient to craft and do yeah. this is actually pretty nice so in progress they tell you how far they are they're three out of 15 so for each time it passes through it will increase that number uh, as long as you actually supply it with the correct next one that's no way uh craft as easily as that, but it is nice. I have been lucky so far, isn't it like 20% of them should fail? Oh, they might first fail at the end of it. Take a look here. I did press, uh, end up uh, completing this one here, so I got the 
Say if it's not a position mechanism, then put it into a side track. If it's not a completed one, then yeah, there's a bit of work in this. I do like this uh, track mechanism. Oh, so if it fails, it might convert it into a few th things. I need to look in oh to do I need to look into how I can I actually filter that stuff out because what I'm interested in, in is if it's a precision mechanism then filter it that way. If it's a incomplete one then filter it the other way and so forth. Okay. But yeah. So this is basically uh, our first uh, major uh, stress unit uh, generator uh, or well kinetic stress uh, generator it's a beast of a machine I do like it it has a good fire for it it does also go down to low speed once it's uh, saturated but yeah there's also the possibility of me, as, me actually upgrading this later on once I get the uh, not the blaze burners well still the blaze burners but get the uh, what are they called? Place cakes, right? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah, my voice sometimes. Yeah, once I get the place cakes uh, automated, could also go for the. Uh, can't get this one, right? Yeah, from a quest, I can get it. What does that A very special treat for your place burners. I'm eating this cake. Place burners will never run out of fuel. I wonder if this is a one off thing, or if by having this one here, I can use it on multiple. I need to check that out at some point. I probably want to test that out in a different world. Anyway, this is my first uh, create uh, contraption, and uh, it looks pretty uh, awesome if you, if I have to say so. Still have a bit of way to go to automate the fuel input here. Uh, I still need the farm over there set up, uh, get that up and running. Um, I'll take a look at how long uh, this. Uh, recording have lasted and then uh, whether or not I need to con I can continue or not so I'll be right back and I'm back just checking up the length of the video I think we are at a good point of actually ending up the episode here um, I didn't really get to building the big things the cool things that I wanted with the mechanical crafters this episode but uh, at least I got a somewhat automated uh, precision mechanism uh, mechanism right yeah uh, set up here Still need uh, uh, to tie it together and actually fully automate it. But next time, I think I'm gonna focus on getting the uh, boiler uh, completely uh, topped up, so that it has automatically refilling of uh, yeah, of coal and other fuels. Oh well, fueling? Yeah, I think so. Um, this episode around was a bit of a, a ramshack thing. I might also just take a minute to uh, redo some of the... Uh, uh, what are they called? The shafts and uh, transitions and gearboxes uh, and such that I've set up here. Because, to be frank, they are not the prettiest thing of the world. Either way, I'm... Uh, uh, I have definitely learned something this this time around. I hope that you have done so as well. Um, have a wonderful day and uh, have fun out there. See you.